Hey guys, this is High Force Reacts, and I'm back to react to One Piece, episode 989, The Pact Between Men, The Fierce Fighting of Brachio Tank. Okay, so basically what happened last time was, um, was, um, Kondro's now officially back. He's, you know, met up with, you know, Orochi and, and, um, Kaido, and, yeah, I'm surprised, like, Kondro didn't bust in and go, Orochi, the plan failed. The plan failed. Okay. <laughs> so... Like, yeah, I got Momo, I got Momo right here, but look, look ev they're, they're coming, they're, <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, everyone else going around, um, Chopper got himself spotted by Big Mom, because of course he did, he didn't think to just keep on rolling, and you know, he just kind of stopped there, and just watched as Big Mom opened the window. <laughs> yeah, meanwhile, you know, Zoro, Kid... Um, Luffy and Killer are all, you know, busting through the the mansion, you know, just fighting off hordes of enemies. Because of course they can. Um, some some of the um Toby Ropo are looking for Yamato, specific specifically Ulti and Page One. So that's a whole lot of fun. Yeah, th th those two are definitely my favorite. So yeah, let's just uh yeah jump right in and yeah we'll start up the episode in three, two, one, play. No, immediately cut to cut to chopper. Okay. Maybe she doesn't, yeah, maybe she doesn't recognize them? <laughs> he introduced himself as Chopper, okay. Okay, thank goodness. Thank goodness, she believed him. Okay, <laughs> all right. Chopper, you are a trooper. Oh, no. Oh, no. The raccoon. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that that was hilarious. That that was that was pretty funny. Mm. This time she might actually eat you, Chopper. Okay, oh no. Oh, okay, so, okay. Yeah, I I should hope so. You you dangled him over over a over the roof of his own house.
Okay. Okay, now. Mm-hmm. Right, he he thinks Kinemon outsmarted him. Yep, yeah, uh-huh. Ah. Uh. So it only makes sense, like, they sunk the third one, even though that was Jinbei. But, you know, whatever, he's a straw hat. <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> what faces? All right. <laughs> Why did they give them these faces? I mean, I'm not complaining, but I'm just wondering why. Hmm. <laughs> No, nope, now he, now he's back to paranoia. Hmm. Right, yeah. All right. Ah, Izo, hey. What does it say? 
I'll be late, but I'll be there. Marco. <laughs> All right, then. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah, they were close friends. They were, they were all close friends on, on the Moby Dick, so. Mm. All right. Yeah, they did. They did say it was um. Yeah, a few a few episodes ago. Oh, oh, it's Sasaki. Okay, it's one of the Toby Ropo. Oh. Okay, so, all right. So, Kiyoshiro managed to make some friends within Kaido's ranks. Okay. Right, yeah. Mm hmm. Oh, oh, okay. All right, then. There we go. Proudly on his back. <laughs> Just like that, one of the Toby Ropos out. <laughs> I mean, it's probably not going to last very long, so it's probably going to eventually find him, but... Still. They took him down that easily. Honestly, I think it'd be a whole lot funnier if he just stayed there. If Sasuke was just tied up throughout the entire battle. Like, <laughs> like at the very end of the arc, we, we cut back to Onigashima. And, and there, there's Sasuke. Hello? Anyone? Hello? Oh boy, she's still lot about the wedding cake. Uh huh. Mm. Right, yeah.
Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can do it, Chopper. Charge at full speed. All right. There we go. You got mortars? Okay, okay. I mean, personal experience, mortars kind of suck, but all right. <laughs> well, that's one way to take care of them. All right. <laughs> Chopper using a rocket launcher. Didn't think I'd see the day. <laughs> like, I may be a doctor, but... <laughs> I love the noise it makes. Just a clown honk. <laughs> yeah, th this one won't be so easy to take out. Oh boy. All right, let's see. Hmm. Oh, boy. Oh, oh, all right, point blank shot. <laughs> right in the face. And a grenade. Okay, wow, wow, one of those classic style grenades, you know, the stick ones. Probably didn't do very much, but that that definitely ticked her off. <laughs> uh Guys, turn and run. That's not going to be enough. You should know this, Chopper. It's not going to be enough. Yeah. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, this is an emperor of the sea. Get out. Run. Nigrundayo! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Good job, guys. Let's go. We won't let their sacrifice be in vain. Oh, Prometheus is here. Oh, boy. Great. All right.
Hmm. Just got you got you got to get in on the on the on the extra Ryuo training. All right. I love these two. They're great. Uh-huh. Oh boy. Ultimate page. <laughs> Truly, they <laughs> they are the top members of Kaido's crew. All right. <laughs> okay. She's reminded me of the little girl from Finding Nemo. Like, wake up! Wake up! <laughs> of course they're right behind Luffy. Alright. I shouldn't have expected anything less. All right, then. Way, way to stop the episode, I guess. All right. <laughs> okay. Well, this is going to be quite fun. Ulti and page one have met Luffy. Okay. All right. <laughs> Make them straw hats, please. I don't want to not see them again after this. After this arc. I know. I I know they're they're probably not. They're, they're not. They're definitely not going to be straw hats after this arc. But come on, they're so entertaining. At least have them survive. At least have them switch sides at the very least. I love these two. They're great. But yeah, all right. Yeah, okay. Next time I'm going to be reacting to episode 990, Thunder Bagua, Here Comes Kaido's Son. Oh boy, Yamato's appearing. Officially, at least, in the next episode. That's going to be a whole lot of fun. So yeah, I got nothing else to say, so I'm just going to end the video here. So yeah. Until next time, guys. See ya.